All right, hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This reading here is for my Leo zodiac sign. This is your December love and relationship reading, guys. Again, this is your longer reading, so this may take some time. Um, I'm going to lay out the cards and then I'll pull a couple of clarifiers and we'll end it off with the with the oracle decks. Um, but before I dive into it, let me just say this is a general reading, so this may not resonate with you. If it does, everything may not be for you in this reading. Uh, could be messages for someone else. And energies are fluid and interchangeable. So energies can cross, and if you need to, please flip them. So let's go ahead and pull your energy from the Love Oracle Romance deck. Identify the energy of Leo for the month of December, please. You deserve love, past life relationships, and one more, please. Identify the energy of Leo for the month of December. Thank you. And religious factors. Okay, so if you need to, please skip ahead. I'm going to lay out the entire spread before I begin. Clarify you deserve love for Leo, please, for the month of December. Thank you. Clarify you, you deserve love for Leo for the month of December. Clarify you deserve love for Leo for the month of December. Thank you, Spirit. Clarify. Okay. Thank you. Clarify past life relationships for Leo, please. Clarify past life relationships for Leo. Thank you. Thank you, Spirit. Guys, this is for Sun, Moon, and Rising Leo signs. So if you have Leo in your chart, this is for you. For the cross watchers, please flip the energies. Clarify religious factors for Leo for the month of December 2020, please. Clarify religious factors. Thank you. Clarify religious. Thank you. Clarify religious factors for Leo for December 2020. Thank you, Spirit. So an extra one popped out there. I'm going to take it because it did pop out, so it's meant to be read. Okay. Give me a moment, guys. Let me pull the energies here from the spread, and we will begin. All right. My energy is clear and I am ready. Time to channel. All right. So for the month of December, all right, the overall energy is at the bottom of the deck. We have the high priestess. Okay. This is higher self secrets being revealed. This is uh, your spirituality as well. Okay. This could also represent like um, a commitment soulmate type of connection. But we're going to keep going to find out here. Okay. So I feel like in the month of December, you're definitely listening to your guides, okay? You could be listening to your higher self that's guiding you into the direction that you need to go. Uh, let's see. The first card we have is you deserve love. You are lovable, Leo. You are lovable. We have the Ace of Pentacles, the Two of Swords, and the Queen of Cups. So the Ace of Pentacles represents some type of new beginning for you, okay? This is a new opportunity that's valuable. I feel like this is more money. Okay, but um, it could just be an opportunity that's going to bring abundance here to you with the Ace of Pentacles. Okay, but it's definitely the start of something new, a new venture, a new opportunity, uh, a new beginning for you. All right, it could be a new business opportunity, a new job, new career, a new love offering coming in. Because we do have You Deserve Love. But we also have the Two of Swords here, and what that tells me is that this is like that stalemate stalemate type of energy, like kind of being stuck, um, being protective here of yourself, you know, kind of guarding yourself as well, but just kind of being stuck, you know, if you would just let down the, the veil on your face, you know, let down that blindfold, you would see that you're fine, you know, but it's like you're just stuck there for some reason, you're stuck in between a rock and a hard place, <laughs> you know, <laughs> just kidding, like you're, you're just stuck on this, um, new beginning here but well, we do have the queen of cups here so i feel like again there's a love offering coming in uh, so you could be having like a business or money type of situation coming in and you could have a love offering coming in as, as well or you could be having a love offering coming in that's very valuable okay bringing abundance into your life here with the queen of cups this energy here is very creative all right very loving very nurturing okay uh, very um committed as well we also have past life relationships. So you have known each other before. 
have known each other before. So with the Knight of Swords, the Sun, and uh, the this is Ten of Swords, but at the bottom it says everything is fine, okay? But it's the Ten of Swords. I feel like in the past, this person, you guys got into a or went through some things, okay? You could have went through some type of breakup because with the Ten of Swords here, that tells me something happened. But I feel like this person is charging forward here, charging forward and wanting to say something to you, wanting to come back into your life. I feel like they, they have something to say. They want to get something off of their chest here. With the Sun card, this tells me that they were very happy with you, that you were very happy with them. You both brought a lot of happiness to each other's lives, made each other feel like that, that child on that horse, you know? Like everything was great, everything was fine. This energy is beautiful. It was amazing. And then like, boom, betrayal happened or like backstabbing happened here. So I feel like something ended uh, because somebody felt betrayed. And it's like, okay, yeah, I, I, I was betrayed, but you know, everything's, everything's fine now. You know, it's cool. It is what it is. It happened, you know, but I'm going to move on from it. It's okay. We also have religious factors. So your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path right so to clarify that we have the eight of swords page of pentacles knight of cups and the world card so the eight of swords is like being stuck in your mind mental mentally okay so i feel like mentally you're stuck in your mind about something and this something is this page of pentacles which is a new beginning a new opportunity so it's like you're trying to manifest this financial situation i keep getting financial with these pentacles here they're saying money 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 it's like you're being stuck like you're trying to, i feel like you're manifesting a new opportunity here like spiritually you could be doing candle work okay you could be doing um rituals you could be doing like praying as well okay uh you could be uh what's it called Sorry, guys, I yawned. I'm so sorry. Um, what is that thing called? It's a, a vision board, all right? You know, manifesting, really manifesting something. It's like you really want something in your life, and you want a new opportunity here, and that's why this Page of Pentacles is here. But then this Knight of Cups and the World card, and it's like, well, wait a minute. Am I supposed to have both of these things coming in at the same time, or is it supposed to be one at a time? Do I need to work on this, and then maybe this will come? So it's like, I feel like this person that's coming in with this queen of couple, uh, queen of couples, <laughs> queen of cups, I feel like this person that's coming in with this queen of cups is coming in at the time that um, you're really working on something to better yourself financially. Like you're trying to create a better lifestyle for yourself with this abundance and this money and this wealth. And it, I feel like that's why you're at a stalemate because not only do you have this new opportunity financially coming in, but you also have this new opportunity as far as love coming in. And it's like, okay, can I manifest both? You know, am, am, am I supposed to have both at the same time? Is that possible? So I feel like that's where the religious factors come in, you know. Maybe you feel as though you can only focus on one thing at a time and you're not meant to have both things happening at once. Let's clarify the energy of this person coming in for you, y'all. Thank you, Spirit. Oh, Knight of Swords, yeah. Clarify the energy of this person coming in towards you, Leo, for the month of December. Judgment. Clarify the energy of this person surrounding Leo that's coming in in the month of December, please. Oh, look at there. We have the same, almost the same exact cards again. Temperance. The Five of Pentacles. Wow. Again, remember, and Knight of Cups. Yeah, they're coming in again. See, Knight of Cups twice. So, yeah, you definitely, you guys, something happened at one point. Someone got left out in the cold, and I feel like it, I, I feel like it's because, I don't know, like, you had something going on, okay, something was going on, and it's like, you've been patient about it, you've been waiting on it, I don't know why this person got left out in the cold, I don't know what happened. Again, it could have been that betrayal or backstabbing type of energy here. But this person is coming forward here, even after they got left out in the cold. This person is wanting to come forward. They've been patiently waiting to get this new opportunity with you here. All right? And now that this opportunity is here, look. 
They've made the decision to come forward here. Knight of Cups. I'm sorry, Knight of Swords and the Judgment. They're making the decision to come forward, all right? It's like karma's letting them know, okay, hey, this is the time. This is the time for you to go forward. And they're doing just that. They're coming after you because you are what make them happy. You help them look at their dreams, look at their options. You know what I'm saying? You help them create this future of happiness here. Like, you make them feel like they have a never-ending way. I don't know if you influence them or you inspire them. But with you, they're so happy that they feel like they can reach all of their dreams with you. Everything that they ever wanted, they feel like they can reach it with you. You bring that out of them. So they're definitely coming in towards you in the month of December here. Can I have some clarity or advice for Leo for the month of December? Any clarity or advice for Leo for the month of December? So Leo, we have well-deserved reward, okay, that popped out. So that new business career opportunity that you're trying to work on is definitely going to pay off for you. So definitely don't give up on that, okay? Well-deserved reward. Whatever that is, as you can see, this person is like standing on some golden bricks, right? Standing way up. It's like they built themselves all the way up above this water, and they're proudly, proudly standing up there shining, right? So it's saying, don't give up on that dream. Whatever you're working on, keep working on that because it's going to be, you're going to get the reward. You're going to benefit from it. Here to your advice for Leo for the month of December, please. Any clarity or advice for Leo for the month of December? Thank you, Spirit. We have rest and reconsider. So I feel like, again, this person, you guys have known each other from the past, all right? Whatever happened, happened. I feel like there was something that happened that made you feel like you were backstabbed or you were stabbed in the back or you were betrayed by this person. But I feel like after some time, uh, you know, after being patient, this person was being patient with you and kind of like explaining themselves or talking to you about it or, you know, you kind of just relating to them about it. I feel like you've rested and you've re reconsidered this option. Like you're starting to realize like, oh, okay, this person can actually bring some type of happiness into my life, you know? And then on the bottom is the balance card, right? At one point you did detach because we have detach here, but then we have balance on top of that. So that's telling me that it's like the energy that you're going to give to them or that they're going to give to you. I feel like you guys are going to give um, the same energy to each other, the same amount. This is going to be a balanced relationship. They give, you give. They take, you take, you know? I don't feel like this person's coming in to um, take advantage of you at all. It's definitely a balanced energy here. So let's go ahead and get your final messages here for Leo. What are the final messages here for Leo? As far as love and relationships. Final messages for Leo, please. Final messages for Leo. Thank you, Spirit. Final messages for Leo, please. So, Leo, I do see that you're going to be doing something business-related as well as a love offering will be coming in for you in the month of December. So, just so you know, that business opportunity did pull up in your love and relationship reading. So, that tells me you're very focused. Okay, so, we have all you need is to believe in yourself, all right? Again, remember I said don't doubt yourself, whatever this, this business opportunity is here. Uh, with this Eight of Swords that you feel like you're mentally stuck, okay? Keep pushing. You got this, all right? Don't give up because this is definitely going to bring something, bring abundance into your life, all right? You are moving on to a steady and reliable path again. You need to keep at what you're doing. In the month of December, things may feel a little tough. You may feel like, oh, man, I want to take a break. I want to, you know, get away from this for a while. But keep pushing through that, okay? Keep pushing. Don't be afraid of losing someone who doesn't want you. Again, this, remember the Ten of Swords. Everything is fine. I feel like betrayal, okay? Um, stabbing in the back. I feel like that did happen. And so you felt like, I'm not going to try with this person. And now this person's coming back. And like, they're coming back full throttle. Like, hey, look, I, I was happy for you. I was wrong for what I did. Yada, yada, yada. And where does the power come from? It comes from within. Again, this is your, your willpower. Keep pushing towards your goals. And never make permanent decisions on temporary feelings, okay? Whatever this person did to you, 
with this Ten of Swords or this Everything is Fine. It might not have been as big of a deal as you might have. Well, I don't want to say that, okay? Because anytime someone stabs you in the back or betrays you, you know, it's kind of messed up. But it could have been a situation where you might have really, like, because something small to somebody could be something huge to somebody else. And I feel like that's what happened. Like, they seen it as something small, but it was like a big deal to you, right? And so when it happened, you just felt like, completely betrayed you didn't allow them to explain you didn't care what they said you didn't care what they did you just were like that's it i'm done bye so i feel like you did make your permanent decision on that right but it's saying don't make permanent decisions on temporary feelings so i feel like you know at this point now you've probably forgiven them for it because we have resting reconsider so i feel like you've forgiven them for it and you were like okay you know what i can forgive them for that so but that is your reading that I have for you today, Leo. I hope that this resonates and gives you some clarity. Guys, I thank you so, so, so much for watching. And I will catch you on the next video. Bye, guys.